compound bow is a classic, reimagined in a modern style. If you treat it right, the world is your oyster. Let me teach you a thing or two about this weapon. The compound bow is crafted using 95 polymer, 85 metal, and 75 cementing paste. As far as weapons go, this is on the costly side. It has 55 durability, which at first seems pretty low, but with each shot only consuming 0.1 durability, this means you get 550 arrows out of the thing before it breaks, which is incredibly good. It also weighs 12, which while not incredibly good like the durability, is actually pretty decent. The compound bow can fire stone, flame, trank, and metal arrows. Most notably among those is the metal arrows, which only this thing exclusively can fire. And shooting anything else out of it really is just a waste of materials and potential. And crafting these is a major pain in the ass, because they just require a lot of materials. Crafting one of them will cost you 3 thatch, 3 fiber, 3 metal, 1 cementing paste, and 1 polymer. This is more expensive than most bullets because of the presence of the cementing paste and the polymer. Now for this next part I had to actually home test it on equipment that wasn't perfect for this so the results are going to be a little rounded and a little bit off but they should give you a good idea this thing's fire rate. Right? What I did is I counted every frame using my video editing software. So the time it took for me to go from having an arrow notched to drawing it back and firing it just before the camera starts to shake because that's when the bow reaches full damage potential counted that as 47 frames which is just two frames over one and a half seconds now the time it takes from firing the arrow to getting another one ready I found to be 28 frames which is two frames under one second coincidentally enough you add those two together and you receive two and a half seconds to fire it and have another arrow ready. Are you feeling like a big brain yet? Because well, we still got some more math to go. Using the two and a half second reload I just got and dividing that by 60 shows us that we can get 24 shots in one minute and with each shot doing 175 damage we get 4200 damage per minute. Please keep the wee jokes to a minimum. That shit stopped being funny when I was 12. And for the one weirdo that's out there wondering, you can get through roughly 22 minutes of fire before the durability on this thing shits out on you. Everything I've shown you up to now shows that it's costly and it doesn't do a lot of damage. So what makes this thing so special and so feared in PvP? Well, it has armored piercing, which means any armor that a creature or a person has on them will be ignored immediately as soon as the arrow impacts with them. I won't lie to you. This is completely irrelevant in PvE. There's very few creatures that have armor, and none of those creatures are such a big threat that you can't deal with them with any other gun or dinosaur. For PvP though, armor has become a huge crutch for people. You really can't function without it. Any creature that has a primitive saddle on even will immediately have 50% damage resistance to everything except the bow. Anyone that equips even primitive flak armor has 98 damage resistance, but as soon as you pop the bow out, they might as well not be wearing anything at all. And the great thing is, at very high levels, this weapon becomes even more powerful because everything is going to be struggling to get through the high quality 500 plus durability flak, meanwhile the bow can just ignore it entirely. The obvious trade off with using a bow here is that it'll be much harder to hit things and you'll have much less range because your bullets actually drop instead of being hit scan like the other weapons are. The drop off from the arrow is actually exponential. At 10 foundations away it will only drop down a quarter of a wall. At 20 foundations away it will drop down 3 fourths of a wall. And at 30 foundations away it will drop down 2 whole walls entirely. Anything past that you'll have to lead your target too far and you'll be aiming up so high in the sky you won't even be seeing whatever you're shooting at. Another thing that the bow suffers from is desync and this is an unintentional thing actually. So to quickly explain desync it's basically when what's happening on your screen isn't what's actually happening on the server. So you're seeing something that isn't really where it is. Now this is a problem with the bow because it leads a projectile. 
So on the server, the projectile might be traveling at 10 feet per second, but on your screen, it's traveling at 12. So on your screen, it hits something, but on the server, nothing happens. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about if you've ever tried to use an actual bow outside of a single player scenario. So overall, the bow is a kind of expensive, really hard to use weapon that's susceptible to network errors completely out of your control. The thing hits hard, ignores armor, and man does it feel fucking cool to kill something with a bow. Making it a really high skill, high reward weapon. If you found this useful or informative, go ahead and uh, like and subscribe. And I'm serious, take one of these things out in a PvP fight. If you kill someone, you'll feel damn satisfied. Thanks for watching.